Hey, what's good again, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Daily Dose, and of course, welcome back again to our wonderful hobby. So, for today's episode, we'll be updating you on what's the latest uh, from Matchbox, also from Hot Wheels. Got uh, a couple of recolors from Hot Wheels, uh, also. So, yeah, if you want to get to know what's new in the diecast world, please subscribe to the channel. That's the Daily Dose. Also, smash the like button and click the bell icon for you guys not to miss our daily upload. So anyways, first car for today's video, we got this amazing pickup truck right here from Matchbox. They got the Toyota Hilux pickup coming soon. Uh, yet, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the first Toyota Hilux pickup that they have. And uh, I'm like a, a big fan of this one right here. I'm absolutely the big fan of Toyota and uh, also their Hilux uh, line up so anyways here you go great details on this one as usual with matchbox i absolutely like the pickups uh, for example they got a really good looking uh, ford raptor also the nissan titan if you remember that one that was really really beautiful and they uh, didn't fail again with this toyota hilux pickup as you see right here great details up front and uh, all around man just absolutely a beautiful like a mainline release from matchbox and they also have this 2019 subaru forester a, a gorgeous looking suv and uh, here you go again really good details on this one uh the front end again it's tampoed lots of tampos up front which i really like so all their uh, cars so far for this is like stock looking so it does have tampos up front and on the rear and uh, it uses appropriate looking wheels uh, for this SUV so again great looking vehicle right here I also love the like the moon roof up top then there's a convertible a 2019 Volkswagen Beetle convertible in white I'm not really the biggest fan of like the newer version of the Volkswagen Beetles. I prefer the classic one, but anyways, uh, it's still a Beetle. So I think there will always be a cult following on a Volkswagen Beetle. So here you go. Clean looking white convertible Volkswagen Beetle. Again, tampos up front. And I do believe this one has rear tampos as well. Uses those... Uh, patented matchbox tealies and then we got this classic 1934 chevy master coupe I, I like old cars but i'm not the biggest fan of this casting though i just don't collect this uh, casting from them so here you go again details up front yeah, what can you say about these cars right here, these new release from Matchbox? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, leave a comment which is like your uh, favorite amongst these cars so far. And also right here, they got the Matchbox Fire Dasher, which is like always included in their uh, mixes. So again, really popular casting from Matchbox. I dig this one right here too. So as you can see, it has tons of details right there. Uh, it doesn't have front details though. So there you go. And also from Hot Wheels, we got a couple of recolors coming soon from them. First up is a 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata. This will be part of the Then and Now series. As you can see, that's beautiful artwork. And here is the car. So the front end right here has some tampos as you can see. And also it has uh, that uh, white racing stripe right there also on the uh, side of the car. Again, yeah, in gray with black wheels uh, the color blocking looks good with this one and yeah I think the spoiler looks okay with this I do believe like Hot Wheels has quite thicker spoilers than I want it to be but I think that's the limitation uh, with 
their 164 scale cars it's pretty much really hard to like make uh, proportionate spoiler especially this part because if you make this thin then it would break easily so I do quite understand that so yeah otherwise a great looking car right here uh, here's also another recolor of the turtle shell this will be part of the street beast uh, set and uh, it says right here best for track so who has tested this one on the, on the track does it really go uh, fast uh, does it really perform well on the track let me know in the comment section down below I do like to uh, race my hot wheels from time to time so yeah this one again recolor uh, this time they chrome this one again outstanding silver chrome with those red uh, parts also on the casting so I do understand that this is a fantasy casting but yeah I like this one a lot too rocket oil special coming soon this will be part of the Hot Wheels art car set as you can see I don't have a lot to talk about this car because uh, to be honest I'm not the biggest fan of this one but here you go again uh, the body has a lot of uh, decos right here it looks uh, pretty good it looks like a painting but other than that not the biggest fan of this then ain't fair from the Hot Wheels Metro set I do like this one here I like buses I have a couple of buses from Atomica and I do like the form factor of the bus as you can see right here it looks pretty cool it has the bike up, uh, up front right here and it has some tampos on the side yeah pretty solid casting right here it has lots of details and whatnot then Aston Martin 177 will have another recolor this will be part of the Hot Wheels rescue set so take a look at the car right here yeah nice nice looking car overall I do like this one a lot and then uh, there's yeah a photo of the upcoming ID car right here the Porsche Taycan Turbo S and it looks really really good so i like how clean this one is it is a stock looking car which i really like again it looks really clean it has tampos up front and on the rear though so again the id cars are like the super treasure hunts without the uh like the rubber tires yeah i do like them a lot thumbs up uh, for this one it looks absolutely beautiful and boss diecast found this one right here from the Hot Wheels monster truck set the Hot Wheels shuffle and again it looks really really cool nice looking one love the color blocking and whatnot it's a good looking monster truck right here Hot Wheels has to be honest uh, has like improved a lot in their monster truck lineup and yeah there you go that is all for our news for today i hope you enjoyed this one if you did please smash that like button subscribe to the channel i'll be seeing you on our next episode bye bye guys have a great day thank you again guys uh, so much for watching have a happy weekend enjoy your day guys bye bye